Today is day 34, I checked before I started recording this, of my 42 day experiment uh, doing only keto chow. Um, this is my second to the last day doing the coconut oil, liquid coconut oil specifically. Um, because, well, regular coconut oil, when you mix with keto chow and stick it in the fridge, it turns into hard lumps. <laughs> so, this is liquid coconut oil, which uh, uh, somebody asked me about it yesterday, and I did the calculations. It's about 50% uh, medium-chain triglycerides in the stuff that I'm using. Um, oh, and I need to get more. I need to get a little bit more so I can make y tomorrow's. I just remember that. I'll have to add it to my shopping list. Anyway, along with the Skittles and the uh, Sprite and the M&Ms that I'll be using next week. Um, in case you missed that from yesterday, um, I tried mixing up the, uh, the dextrose that I was going to be using in my shakes. And it was way too much dextrose. Like, way too much. Um, so, I'm going to be using some candy and some soda um, to replace some of the dextrose. I'll still be using some dextrose. I'll also be using some almond milk to uh, make the keto chow a little bit more... Well, with just water, it's kind of meh. So, yeah, so that's what's going on for uh, today. I did wake up with a bit of a headache this morning just from dehydration, and my, my tummy's feeling a lot better. Thank you for asking. Um, which will be just in time for me to royally screw it up. Uh, starting Friday. Um, speaking of Friday, um, it's going to be a lot of fun because it'll be the first time I've had, and by fun I mean not, uh, first time I've had carbs in uh, basically three years. Um, so I'm planning on, well I'm going to be taking, the, when I do my first um, keto chow um, with glucose or with, with sugar and eating the um, whatchamacallit, eating the candy and stuff like that. I'm probably going to do it uh, live on Instagram or something like that, or tw Facebook. Or, anyway, I'll, I'll post about that just before I do it. Um, so you all can, can share in the, the revelry. I'll, be, I'll have my glucose meter there because I've tested keto chow alone with uh, heavy cream in it to see if it spikes my blood sugar, and it does not. So um, I'm going to check my glucose as I'm taking, as I'm drinking the keto chow, and then eating the candy in the morning to see if it spikes it. And that week, I'm probably going to be uh, checking my glucose every morning as well. Um, I'll probably only check my ketones first two days because I expect there to be essentially none after that first day of eating carbs and it's really gonna suck and it's probably gonna take me three or four days to uh, get back into things um, it's it's easier to come back into ketogenesis which is the production of ketones and ketosis which is the burning of ketones if you've been on it for a while and you just stop for a little bit and, and a week is actually kind of a long time but um, uh, what happens is your cells upregulate the uh, the receptors for ketones and for fat and so that will still be in place it takes like six months or so for your cells to say hmm there's no more glucose around maybe I should work on fat more and so it does, and you become fat adapted. And then it takes, if you were to start eating carbs again, it would take about another six months for it to go, hmm, there aren't that many ketones around. Maybe I should start upregulating my glucose receptors. And so it will. And then you'll be burning sugar again. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but you could if you really wanted to. Um, I'm not going to. I'm going to do this for a week, hopefully. Um, I don't even know if I'll make it through all the way. I might, uh, I, I might make it to two or three days and call it off and just go get my blood test and stuff like that. We'll, we'll see. Um, but Friday will be interesting. I'm going to go get my blood test in the morning. Uh, then I'll go get a DEXA scan. 
because I want to, uh, I got one before I started the experiment. I'm going to get one when I finish the, the keto phase. And then I'll get another DEXA scan at the very, very end after the week of doing carbs. Just to kind of show a comparison of, well, this is what happened when I was doing keto. And then this is what happened when I did carbs for a week. Um, anyway, so that should be Friday. Should be a whole lot of fun. Anyway, last thing, um, I was yesterday, um, a guy who, uh, he started doing keto and keto chow specifically um, a couple months ago. He had me on his podcast yesterday. We recorded the, the stuff. Um, and he was really quick in getting it up. Um, he actually posted it today. So there's a link to that in the uh, blog post that accompanies um, this video. Um, I actually, my, my wife and I, we recorded a podcast, it was about a week ago, um, with uh, Ketonian Corner. It hasn't been posted yet, it's supposed to be posted on the 9th. And then there, we all, I also recorded a uh, podcast with um, Fan Press, with uh, I, another guy who's using Keto Chow, um, and that's supposed to be posted I think in about a week or so. <laughs> Three podcasts are going to be posted maybe within the next seven days or so. So it's kind of funny. Anyway, so that one, I tried to keep it short because it's called Bite-Sized Podcast. And he likes to do them like 30 minutes or so. And we ended up going almost 50. Um, and I tried to uh, not rant about stuff. <laughs> so I, I didn't talk about Ansel Keys very much. I didn't talk about cholesterol very much. Um, I actually didn't talk a lot about the experiment that I'm doing right now, but it was it was kind of interesting to have these uh, podcasts going on right in the middle of this experiment. Um, so, kind of a little snapshot of where we are in time. Anyway, yeah, that's it for today. See you on day 35.